What's up guys? Outdoors with Thor here today. We are on the hunting property. I'm out here filling feeders. I've got my Scout Tech camera over there. Just fixed it. The batteries died in it. Trying some new batteries out and they did not go very well. So had to come out and put some fresh batteries in it. Uh, we are about to get the tiller. That's my granddaddy's tiller. And we're going to till this up a little bit and just do a throw and go plot. I know everybody's going to say, oh, the throw and roll, you ain't got to till. I know that, but we're going to till it up a little bit and uh, and just plant it. I got my daughter here with me today. We're going to put a blind up out here and uh, get it set up and brushed in and uh, get this tilled up, planted, and get food in the feeder. And uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why would you have a feeder in a food plot? I've, we've done that a bunch. So um, I'm going to video this a little bit, just getting some of this prep done and set up and uh you know, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I uh, hope everybody has a good deer season this year. We're a week out from bow season here in Georgia, so we're going to try and uh, get it all set up. This will be probably a rifle spot for the kids and all, but we've had some good bucks on this camera, so, uh, you know, we'll never know. Cass has never shot a deer, so hopefully we get her first buck this year, and it'll be a good time. What we're going to be planting with, just basic... Throw and grow extreme no-till mixture with radish, 1100, quarter of an acre, 1100 foot. I got two bags. It's got <clears throat> daikon radish, perennial clover, uh, annual ryegrass, forage rake. There's a bunch of ryegrass in this thing, okay? I already know that. You can look on the bottom. It'll tell you the amount. There is 85% uh, or 90% of it is ryegrass. So... It's a lot of ryegrass, but there's some clover and some stuff in there. And, of course, we're in Georgia, so we're wanting to do a fall plot mid-September, October. We got rain coming, so we're going to go ahead and plant it. The temperatures have started cooling down a bit, so we're going to go ahead and try and get this tilled up a little bit and plant it. I believe they're going to come back and do more stuff to this. They clear-cut it a couple of years ago before we got in this club. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll see you guys on the video, and we'll get this thing unloaded and start working. guys well as you can see um we got the food plot planted um we're pretty excited about it this is my first one i've ever done got to use papa's tiller uh, my uncle put a new engine on this thing and uh it, it is it worked great for what we did i mean this ain't a big food plot or nothing like that um small little thing just uh you know kind of help feed the deer throughout this area because this, this is a lot of pines and stuff so there's not a lot of acorns over here and they hit this uh they hammer this feeder pretty hard so hopefully when this feed runs out of food if i don't have time to uh, refill it they can munch on the food plot as long as they don't mow it down before it gets up so um appreciate you guys following along again uh TikTok, instagram facebook and uh hit that subscribe button down if you're not subscribed i really appreciate all my subscribers i 
don't remember exactly what number we're at. I think it's 115, 116, something like that. So all of you that are subscribed, I super greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate all the help and uh, everybody watching. So we are going to do a mid-season update once this plot gets up and uh, everything like that. And uh, hopefully show you guys just kind of, you know, this is just throw and grow. I'm not expecting a lot of uh, amazing stuff to come from this, but something for the deer to feed on, uh, mill around on, you know, keep a couple does in the area and stuff like that. Maybe come rut, it'll be a really hot spot and uh, we can get Cass on her first deer or maybe shoot a doe, a good buck or something like that come rifle season. So appreciate you guys following along and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.